Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got three replays for you in the original Derptastic Derp Lord, the KV2, the old but gold tank. What a tank the KV2 is. What a tank. Always been the one for me. Always. Absolutely love playing it. It's my fourth most played tank in this game. 461 games is what I played in this KV2. It's my fourth most played tank. And yeah, that's because generally what we always used to do was end the night, well, end a session generally, with a game or two in the KV2. We used to do that religiously, non-stop. Me and my mate, John and Mick, we, we used to literally just play this tank, end the night. We used to start it, start KV2, end with KV2. And that was what happened. And that's how I ended up playing 461 games of this tank. And did we ever stop loving this tank? Absolutely not. Has tanks like the Dreadnought come in and gone and take, stolen the thunder a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Because I mean, the Dreadnought's kind of broken and stupid. But still, come back to the KV2 because just... It's just memes. It's just glorious, glorious dirt memes. And I actually started playing it again because it's got this skin. This is actually a pin-up skin that the KV2 has that I never knew it had. And I was ashamed of myself for not knowing these things and not buying it. And that's, that's what I did. That's what, that's what I had to do. And yeah... The KV-2 is just all reliable. It, what a tank this thing is. Like, you just drive along, derp. I don't carry any AP rounds because I just decided, no, my life is derp in this tank. I just derp away and that's all we aim to do. And derp aims to please with this vehicle because that's just what we do. We've got a 152mm gun of pure pain, 86 pen with 910 damage. And with 86 pen at tier 6, there's actually quite a lot of tanks you can pen with 86 pen. You'd be surprised. And you can do a heft the amount of damage to people which is always lovely and when you splash people as well with the he you do splash them for a pretty decent amount so what do i run in terms of a crew on the old kv2 well on the kv2 i run born leader rapid reload six sense situational awareness steady aim snapshot run and gun trap mechanic and rapid aim i run rapid aim to make sure that the torch reverse is faster generally because the Turret on this tank is a little bit slow to turn. I want to try and get my gun turned on target as quick as possible by just making the torch reverse better. All the gun perks, because this is a derp gun. And this tank derps all the time. And you want to try and make sure that it is as accurate as it humanly can be. And then in terms of equipment, I take advanced loader, optics, and the GLD. Oh, by the way, 86 pen can pen a lot here. Just stay there, Pantera. Oh, <laughs> That's a tier 8 medium tank. 900 damage. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, God. That's why we love the KV-2. Stuff like that. But, yeah, we run advanced loader, optics, and a gun-laying drive. Why do I run that? Good night, sweet prince. I run the GLD because I want to make this horrible aim time that this tank has better. So I actually knock it down to about 3.37 with the GLD and the crew skills in the tank. Actually, no, it's about 3. 1.5, I think it was 3.2, something like that. But it's way better than the actual base aim time that this tank has, which is why I buff it to have the best aim time it possibly can do, because the aim time is horrific. And then advanced load to make my DPM as good as possible, and optics to be able to actually spot for myself, because, well, I say I'd be able to spot for myself, which make it so I, it's kind of possible to spot for myself, because this thing is blind. Yeah, the KV-2 is kind of blind, and I know you could say, well, you're a heavy tank, right? You're going to be on the front line all the time, so you don't need view range. Well, realistically, you always need view range because even if you're on the front line all the time, there's a lot of situations where you're going to be driving along somewhere and you get spotted and you have no hope of ever spotting it. And with the setup that we have, we have about 422 me yeah 422 meters of view range, which is still not great, but it's better than not having the optics and having like 370 meters view range or 380 meters view range, which would be bloody awful. And yeah, the aim time is knocked down to 3.24 with the GLD and the crew skills. So, yeah, that's why I run it like that. That's just to make my life a little bit nicer in the tank. So, as you can see in this first game, we're up to 2.6k damage with 197 assistance. And, unfortunately, 
the map control's going a little bit out the window, and it's not looking too good. We are starting to be farmed now by an absolution, which fires very, very quickly. They've caught behind us, which is kind of awkward. We try and get a shot on the move to hit that light tank. I have to keep moving. I could not stop to aim at that light tank. And what I want to do is now move into the dip directly in front of me. We get spotted. I'm like, oh, God, I'm going to die here. This is really not a good time. I just have to keep going to this dip. We fire on the move at the absolution. Actually hit him and track him. We'll take that's a that's a victory. And now we're in the dip. We are kind of safe from those behind us. And now the absolution is gone. We can turn to face those behind us, which is pretty nice now because you know we don't have to worry about tanks shooting us in the ass as well as shooting us in the front. So we. I'm going to poke around this corner and see if we can spot any of the tanks. The light tank ends up driving up and it's like, hello, Mr. A43. And unfortunately, the snapshot misses. Derp is love, derp is life was not with us at that moment in time. RNGs has said, nope, not today. And we unfortunately didn't get the shot in. We are on 300 hit points, which is not that great. That means we can, I think we can get shut down by at least one of them on the enemy team in one shot, which is awkward. And we don't really have the view range. We can get out spotted quite easily. The KV-85 does get spotted, though. So we slam a shot towards him. And the KV-2 just misses. Because we didn't really give it enough lead. But unfortunately, that shot misses. Which is really not good. We really need to be eliminating tanks at this point in time. The Jagdpanzer IV gets spotted up. We slam the shot in. And there we go. We finally hit the Jagdpanzer IV. Shut him down. It's like, oh, God. There's a Hellcat. And oh, no. <laughs> it's like, well, I'm just dead. And, uh, and Gus shuts us down. God damn you, Mr. Verbotten Candy. You were the forbidden candy. And we end up finishing the game with four kills, 3.3k damage, 200 assistance, the ace tank of the high caliber. And unfortunately, we did lose that game. And that's what happens when you do lose map control at times. It goes down the pan a little bit. And unfortunately, we, we, just, couldn't, we just couldn't win that game. And... Mr. Ando and Mr. Verbot and Candy carried the enemy team to the victory. Sad times, but it is what it is. And we're on to the second replay. In the second replay, we are bottom tier. We're against tier eights. And we're on Nebel Burger. Yeah, you heard me right. It's Nebel Burger. And we are going to go towards the castle, I think. Probably. We're going to go towards the little area at E5, possibly, to see if we can shoot anything that might pull across from f5 because also from about that position at e5 we can also rotate back around to sort of help the town or attack the town if we want to it gives us multiple different options of what we want to do i like taking this position as an, an initial position on this map because again it's, it's the type of position where i can poke up i can spot across this little gap that you can see in front of me and I can go haul down and stay safe and get the odd early shot at tanks that do cross and try and get up and start shooting people on the hill. But also, if they push aggressively down the town and through the town and push towards my island at B5-6, I can turn around and start shooting them and start trying to counter them. There's multiple different things I can do. So I kind of like taking this position initially and then seeing how the enemy team sets up on Nibelberg. Go. Nibelberg, go. It's not Nebel Burger, it's Nebel Burger, all right? So, yeah, you can see I'm just watching what's happening with the enemy team. So there's a Samua SM directly above us. And I'm thinking, is he going to push? We're just going to aim ready in case he does push my medium tanks and heavy tanks. But that's not quite happening right now. And I'm sort of hesitating currently because I kind of want to be pushing to it to see if I can get a shot at the tank at C1. But I also want to push and see if I can get some shots into the back end of these guys at F5. But it could go badly for me if I do push and get some shots into the guys at the, in the back there. Because they could also have someone camping where the artillery is or around the artillery at J3, which is not a good time. But we have pulled forward because we're not getting spotted. There's nothing here. So we're going to try and help the lone heavy tank in the distance and try and get some shots into these guys that are sitting at D1, C1, like the P43 and this T77. So you can see I'm slowly but surely moving the aim circle so it doesn't bloom out too much. We loop the shell straight into the side of that P43's turret and pen him and shut him down for 589. The artillery was spotted, so I'm aiming up kind of roughly where I thought he was. And we end up seeing the shell tracer, and it's like, okay, maybe he's there. But unfortunately, we don't actually hit the artillery. It would have been nice to get rid of him. 
but it is what it is. The heavy tank is now dealing with that T-77. So once again, we are just going to try and help this guy out if we can. We're just waiting for the gun to reload and we are fully aimed in. This is this is where we go. Go, go, derp, sniper! Because KV-2 is going to try and derp and snipe. You never know, in the side of a T-77, we might pen it if we get lucky. So this T-77 is pushing my heavy tank and I'm thinking, mm, this is awkward, okay. Thank you very much for pulling to a position where I can get a shot in. It's kind of awkward because of the position of the building. We do track that T-77 in place, and then it gets retracked by the artillery, and it's like, well, that heavy tank's got the T-77. And there we go, the Patriot shuts down the T-77. We're up to 880 damage with 248 assistance and one kill. The artillery gets spotted up, and thank you, Aaron Jesus. He takes the wheel and lets the shell fly straight towards the AMX-13 F3 and shuts it down. Thank you. God, because it wasn't well aimed at all, and it managed to just fly in and kill it. It's always nice when it, that happens. Now we've got an enemy KV-2 directly in front of us, and we've got a KV-4. We've got a big bro. Big bro KV-4. He's KV-2 plus 2, which generally means he's better, right? And we managed to thankfully shut that guy down. Thank God the KV-2 chose... Cho cho English is hard. Chose. English chose to shoot the... Nash horn. If anyone tells you English is easy, English is not easy. And yeah, I thank God that the KV2 chose the Nash horn because he could have taken a lot of my hit points very, very easily. But I was hoping to possibly get a shot in to shut him down, but he got ended up getting blapped by something from somewhere. I think possibly one of the heavy tanks. So he's gone. We're up to 1,500 damage with 453 assistance with three kills. And... We're going to attack the tanks attacking our base. So we could have quite easily decided, you know what, I'm going to push into their base and push towards something that's camping. Or, you know what, we can decide to push across and go and try and defend our cap. Because they are starting to push towards our cap. And by doing this, hopefully we can get some more damage off and stop them capping it. Because we, we don't want them to cap right now. That would that'd be sac sacrilegious and terrible. And I want more damage, and we know where the damage is, and oh boy, this looks like we've got the ass of the VK. Oh, just keep driving, boy. Oh, thank you so much. 479 damage to the rear of that German tier 8 heavy tank. And I'm like, oh god, I'm in a bit of an awkward situation here. I'm detected. At least we've still got full health, and unfortunately we end up getting penned by something firing APCR. And it breaks our turret. We use the repair kit to put the turret back in. Loop a shell, not... <laughs> Oh, and Jesus takes the wheel again. Not really that aimed. And it manages to shut down the T28 prop. Puts us on to five kills of 2k damage. Okay, cool. So far, we've killed a couple of tier 8s. Which is good going for a tier 6 heavy tank. I mean, that's why KV2 does not care for being bottom tier at all. And now we know there is a Barask. We know it's a tier 8 medium tank. We know it's the Barask. We can pen a Barask if we get lucky. There's also a tank destroyer somewhere, which we do have to be very, very careful of. In fact, he gets spotted there at the Stern Panzer. I'm thinking, oh god, he might he might be coming for us. But that, that Barask has unloaded and he's getting chased by a TD. Maybe he'll pop out. But then it's like, oh god, no. The TD the TD's coming. But no, okay, the Barask is here. We've got to ch chance it. Oh, 766 to that Barask. Get out of here, you little pesky medium tank slash light tank. And he's gone. That puts us onto a top gun with 3k damage. And unfortunately, that Stern Panzer tracks us with the ram. But this is why we have track mechanic, because we can put the tracks back on. Thankfully, the TD shoots the Stern Panzer in the side, putting him down in the range where we could probably hit him and kill him for one shot. And thankfully, we do. And finish the game with 7 kills, 3.2k damage. 933 assistance, the ace tanker, the devastator, the top gun, 2.2k base XP, a really great game for the KV-2 in a bottom tier matchup, the KV-2 does not care for being bottom tier, you just derp, you derp and you have fun, because derp is love, derp is life, and... That shot on the Barask was just the thing of beauty, right? He drove perfectly in a straight line. We didn't really... It wasn't fully aimed, but we had to take the shot when we did. And thankfully, it flew straight into the side of his turret and pendant for 766. Always a lovely thing when that happens. And now we are in the third and final replay of this derp-tastic fun that we've got in the KV-2. Old but gold tank. And we are on... One of my favourite maps in this game, Sand River. I don't know what it is, but I just genuinely love Sand River. I, I always have. I've always enjoyed playing the game on Sand River. It's just an enjoyable experience all 
all time round, really. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I mean, what, what's your favourite map? Tell me down below. That map that you just get and you go, let's go. I like this map. We're going to have a good time. Sand River is that map for me. I, just, I don't know what it is about the map, to be fair, because is it the best map in the game? Probably not. In fact, it's, it's, it's definitely not the best map in the game, but it, it's just a hell of a lot of fun for me to play. I feel like no matter what type of tank I'm in, I know where I can go to have fun and try and impact the game well enough. And this is just one of those maps that I feel like I, I'm not restricted by the map. Generally, I can go do what I want. Obviously, if you get two or three arty, two or three artillery on this map, it's it's not going to go well, is it? Because two or three artillery, it's a big open map. There's not much cover from them. They're going to blap the living crap out of you. Fair enough. But still, three artillery notwithstanding, and for, to be honest, three arty is a rarity these days. You tend to get two at max. I just love playing this map. So, yeah. We're in the KV2 on Steppies. Not Steppies. It's not Steps. Sand River. We've just been talking about Sand River, you moron. On Sand River. And we are going to try and derp our way. We are top tier this time, which means there's a lot of derpable targets. Oh, yes. And, yeah, we are... We've taken this position here at D7. I wanted to come to this position at D7 because I thought, well, it's a good position, number one, to shoot across at anyone that crosses the A-line. But no one really did. So we are just going to try and shoot the people that are in the middle and try and get some cheeky blind shots. You can see there was tanks spotted at G2. They were out of render range, but I decided, you know what, I'm going to meme and try and get a shot in. And unfortunately, it didn't go anywhere near. The artillery is currently focused on us, which means, thank God we got unspotted because that's... Yeah, it wasn't going to go too well. They've won the K line. They are pushing the K line very aggressively, but they've also won the middle along the G line. And I'm kind of sat in a position which will counter them as they push out. But we move into a position where we're hopefully, well, where we are in render range. And, oh, ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. ho, ho. Heavy tank number six gets penned for 864 by the KV2. Oh, yes, baby. We take those every day. <laughs> God. Oh, another one, please. Oh, it didn't pen. Oh, we had more chance of penning a 3001D in the side than we did a heavy tank number six. Oh, God. Okay, KV2. We're just waiting for the reload to come in, and I want to shut this 3001D down. And as you can see, the, the shell velocity on the tank, being a derp gun, good night, 3001D. The shell velocity there, you can see, we were auto aiming at that 3001D. But when we looked through our main gun, we couldn't actually see him because we didn't have the gun depression. It, the KV-2 has that ability that, obviously, if you auto-aim at something over a ridge line, you can probably hit it with RBRT, whereas you're not going to be able to actually physically see it. And, oh, my God, we just penned the KV-1S. <laughs> oh, we penned the KV-1S and shut him down for 500-odd. It's KV-2. Never change. Never change, KV-2. I love you too much. Now we've got a shot into the side of the OI. Good night, sweet prince. Good night. The artillery is slamming shots in the left, right, and center. Up to three kills, two and a half K damage. Once again, just waiting for our reload. We are kill hunting right now. It's one of those moments where I feel like a blood hound. I'm smelling blood in the water. I want the kills. We're at 9-9 nine, nine currently. 9-8, nine, make that. We are just about winning. And now we're pushing to a position where we are in render range to see the 3001D and the KV-85. We try and get a shot into the 3001D, but the shell wasn't fully aimed, so it didn't go anywhere near. But now we're in a position where I'm quite happy to be. And that's because from this little ridge here where we are at F6-7, I can push into a position to shoot anyone along their dunes, along the K-line. But I, if they decide to push into our cap, I can also defend our cap quite handily from this position. But I really need to start getting guns out of the game. So I'm trying to lock on and see if we get a shot into the Jagdpanzer IV, which we can. So we're just going to wait for it to aim in, aim in, aim in, aim in. And penetration in the side. Or it could have been a splash, but still. 494, finish off the Jagdpanzer IV. And that puts us on to four kills. Next, is what I'm saying in my brain now. Who's next? Mr. Nashorn, is it you? KV2 wants feeding. <laughs> I don't know why he turned French for a minute there. But we are going to get a nice shot into this Nashorn, pretty much. Good night, Nashorn. That puts us on to five kills. There's four tanks left. The artillery that is still trying to get shots. So there's something fires heat from the ridges. That There we go. It's the TD that just gets lit. 
we know that they aren't pushing into the base at this current moment in time, so we're just going to push forward and try and again, one, once again, try and keep pushing the kills. So we we are keep getting detected here by the artillery. It's like, please artillery, just just leave me be. The three thousand and one D ends up killing the thing that was defending our cap, which is a plague bringer. I'm thinking, is he pushing up? No, he's not pushing up into position. I can get a shot. We end up getting detected by the Semavente M41. And it's like, okay, Mr. Semavente, I can one-shot you, bro. Come on, bro. Let's do it. I thought maybe he was charging towards me, but he's not. Artillery is still trying to get shots at us. Thankfully, he ends up missing. The Semavente is on full runaway mode. Now he's charging after the medium tank that's come gone in on him. And it's like, Mr. Semavente, please... Let me feast on your soul, as KV2 does. He rammed the medium tank. Okay, we managed to finish off the summer event there, putting us on to six kills with three and a half K damage. Unfortunately, the gorilla hits the Panzer three four next to me and kills him. We're up to three. It's three two at the minute. It's fairly close, you know. It's not not a, a given here. And the artillery manages to blind fire us. What? Okay. But then we end up spotting the Griller who is charging. It's like, well, hello, Griller. Sure, if you want to give me the kill, thank you very much. And thankfully, we get revenge on that piggy that's been shooting us the whole time. Puts us on to seven kills, 4K damage. And it's like, hello, 3001D. I want my Radley Walters. Come on. I've got hit points. I don't care at this point. He can't kill me in a shot. I'm just like, you can shoot me, sir. I'm just going to give you a shot. And pixel snipes over the ridge line. That could have missed, that would have missed 99% of the time, but thank God it hits. We get the victory, eight kills, 4.1K damage, 2.3K base XP, nearly 2.4K. Devastator, Radley Walters, high caliber, top gun. Derptastic, derp is love, derp is life, KV2, old but gold, best fun tank in the game because KV2 is love, KV2 is life, same as derp. What a tank. We always love the KV2 round here. So as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. A great success.